this tree is about two years old. Um, this is not the first time it's it's um, producing fruit. This is maybe its fruit crop. Um, I've never really eaten from it because that my granny usually pick it um, because I was so busy. But I'm hoping that this fruit, um, I'm hoping to show you how to plant the seeds or to or how to actually open it. So maybe in next week's video I'll show you how you can actually open a pomegranate properly to get the full glorious view of a pomegranate fruit. I do apologize, my family is in the house and they are all happy and I am not quite sure what's going on. But you might be hearing a bit of a shout, you know, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so... I am um, this fruit I will show you how to open it and then I will possibly sow a few of the seeds and but I'm gonna show you how I actually fit in it now before I actually show that to you what I would like to advise you if you'd like to try to grow the pomegranate in a pot it is possible what you need to do in the base of your pot you will need to add in which is what I've got I'm basically going to advise you of what I did I added some gravels so there is so there are some gravels at the base about two inches of gravels um, about that size gravels about that size in the base of the pot two inches added some strong hood um, some flat ones some branches basically hood or branches which will not decompose easily when it is exposed to water you need something at the base on top of the gravel then I added some mulch then I added some soil I added some mulch and then I added some compost and then I added some soil again so it's very much a light pot it's not too heavy at all as you can see it's not too very heavy um, but I did about two inches of each of the material that I mentioned and I left about four inches to six inches from the top of the surface of the container to the base okay um, before I say much of this I'm gonna mainly explain this to you when I'm feeding it okay so um, <laughs> we are gonna continue in one moment allow me just to advise you what I intend to do with this tree um, now this is not how I intend to leave the pomegranate. I will admit I did try to control it and again I've been so busy that it got out of control. But I'm looking forward to finding the main stem or one stem, control it and then prune off all the other stems. Allow the main stem in the center to go upwards and then prune the top and then place a very strong stick or PVC pipe in there to control it. I would like it to go up and out not all over the place as it is right now as you can see there are many branches right here there are a lot um but that's not how i want it i want it to actually go straight now i'm seeing here this branch right here this one might be the main branch i will end up leaving okay because it's the tallest it is the tallest one as you can see or the longest oh my gosh it's kind of crazy here <laughs> okay so this is the main one this one right here so um, I'm not quite sure if you guys can see it. I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, but yeah, so this is the main branch. This one right here that I'll be um, controlling or I'll try to control. I will prune off the others and so that the plant can focus on this one right here. Um, so I could get more of a... Uh, oh my. And you've got to be careful. It has prickles. Pomegranate trees actually have prickles. I did not know that before. Um, right. So here. So this will be the main one that I'll be controlling to go upwards and then I'll put it on the top and allow it to strengthen um, for the stem to strengthen so I'm um, what I'm gonna do right now for you guys I'm going to actually show you how I would feed my um, pomegranate plant and I would advise you continue to advise you of what needs to be done in regards to um, planting to leave in the surface with a bit of space okay let's go ahead okay guys so here's where we are right now um, as you can see here all of this I want you to see this I want to see how light this is and how much space I left so this actually is the base of the soil right down there allow me to stick where you could see better by the way it will have a lot of insects um don't panic and hopefully I will not panic also <laughs> okay so this is basically the real base right here can you see it allow me to see if I can use a stick um so this is how about how deep it is from here to down there okay so I'm, I usually leave a lot of space in my pot and I would like to advise you to do so. Um, this will allow you, if you're practicing back in garden and composting, this will allow you to add in a lot of compost. And the compost, no matter how much you fill it up, it will break down to almost nothing. Okay, because I remember once upon a time, this was filled with compost material, which you'll see me do today. And then it will eventually break down. So all of this right here is decomposed material. All of this right here, that's decomposed material. And if you can watch and see closely, are you seeing the root system? You seeing this? All of that here, that's the good thing. When you leave it like that, when you have it very deep, 
when you fill it up with compost the plant will send out new roots into the compost and that will mean that you can keep adding compost material and the plant will focus its um basically if not its root yeah well it's root growth it will focus its root growth um around the compost area rather than all the way down to the bottom so you have nothing much to worry about in regards to the gravels um at the bottom the plant will focus where you're feeding it so hence the reason why i have this depth in the from the top of the continent to the base of the soil okay so the hood at the bottom is mainly to retain moisture and to help to prevent the soil from escaping at the bottom because i don't have the container sitting in any um covering to prevent water from escaping however much water don't really come down because of how i had it but there would be a lot of bugs in here different type of bugs because right now this is an ecosystem for the insects and bugs and organisms okay so i'm just going to show you what i do so what i usually do i would push the existing compost more to the side of the container you could also do something if you would like take this out um, and um, sift it and use it to plant seeds you could also do that but i'm not going to do it so you see all of this root system is exposed all right don't you don't have to worry much of it getting damaged the plant will repair its roots you should not purposefully damage it but the plant will repair its roots um, now I've got a little bit of compost material um, in this container that I'm going to pour but I would like to advise you get a lot okay as you can see I have here the the seed of a golden apple I've got cane peeling the remainder I've also got eggshell let me s let's see this is eggshell I have a lot in there um, you might be seeing it all there that's eggshell I don't want to add the eggshell in because of earthworm so I would like to actually discourage that now I'm just adding in more compost material so this is quite a lot you might be thinking but no i'm going to add it all the way to the top okay so this is nothing yet this is just a little bit um now doesn't that look delicious <laughs> now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna top it off with some cow and goat sorry i'm going to top it off not with cow actually i stopped with cow manure um rabbit and goat manure so just topping it off to prevent some of the insects and pests that we don't like like rodents from directly getting to it as yet by the time it breaks down it's no longer appetizing to the rodents you should remember that compost attracts rodents but if you do it properly um, there's a less likely chance that this will happen so this right here is cow manure ah, why do I keep saying cow manure? goat manure gosh cow manure the reason why I don't use it because it have a lot of um, thing in it um, weed the seeds of the weed and um, other pest plants yeah so this is how I go ahead and I'll feed my pomegranates now this here can last for at least four months it will eventually go all the way down decompose and break down so right now I've given the pomegranate a lot of food so next full moon I will go ahead and have this done where I will prune off the um, I prune off some of the branches I'm not quite sure what to do yet. I don't want to open off the branches, but I need to because I really want it to grow in a specific way. Okay, guys. So I hope indeed that you understand why I'll be pruning it off. I will try my best to feature it um, again so that you could see me pruning it off and the same. So please ensure that you feed your plant organic manure. Okay. Please practice composting so that you could feed it to your plant. This will allow the plant to grow pretty well in a pot. Please also, I really don't like and I have seen people do it where they fill up a pot with soil and they think that is all it takes for a plant to grow well. No, you have to ensure that you have the different level, the different level in terms of the soil structure um, or the material in the pot to ensure that your plant thrives pretty well. Most persons would find that the plant is drying out quick and the plant is dying quick from dehydration. It's because you've got soil only in the pot, possibly. You need to ensure that your pot is well aerated this will allow the plant to actually get accustomed with having little water in it. If your pot is very saturated with soil, as soon as the soil dry, the plant will start to panic. But if your soil is well aerated, it would actually allow the root and the plant to basically, um, how do you say, level it out? Level out. Um, I'm trying to feel, get the word. Um, it would grow accustomed to the structure or the um, temperature or what's going on in the soil okay so most time my plant don't get a lot of water but it will still stay pretty healthy because i am practicing composting and also my soil is very well aerated as you saw i have almost six inches from the top of the container to the bottom 
with no material and then I keep adding on compost material. That is how I am doing it and that is how I like to encourage you to do it. My tamarind tree which is in a pot which I will feature in another video. The tamarind tree in the pot that's the same practice. I planted it if you remember I planted the tamarind tree in a pot and you saw how I did it. Where I did not just only add soil, um, loamy soil. I added some gravels at the bottom. I added some coconut um, husk. I added some um, soil, compost material, light soil, different type of soil. And that makes it very easy for it to move the plant. Right now it's heavy because of course I added some compost in it. But as soon as the compost is done, the pot is light again, okay? So I'd just like to encourage you and um, please try your best to practice backyard garden. If you don't have a actual land or actual space in your backyard garden, you can practice doing it in a pot. It can happen, it can be done. As you can see, the pomegranate has fruit on it and it's being grown in a pot, okay? So please ensure that you try your best to practice backyard garden, guys. Remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agri Suede is out.